Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing Metopia. Uh, I've just been kind of sitting here drinking coffee listening to this music and um, I think it's affected me like on a mental level. All right, let's uh, get started. <laughs> Miitopia is basically a game where you can take your Mies. I've taken Turg from Tamadachi Life. Uh, he's gonna be the hero of our story. What sort of personality would you say Turg has it? Airhead and stubborn. No, wait, no, that's me. Kind. Oh, oh my God, I wish I just went to the main menu. Now this is coffee drinking music. Oh, oh my God, was that the, the small bang? <laughs> was it? I was gonna say big bang, but not really uh, accurate. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm not sure how to process all of this. Oh my god. Wait. What? <laughs> you see what I mean? Okay, no, we're going back to face robbing. See, these are the dangers of face swapping apps. People don't realize how risky it is to use them. Behold, a simple traveler. <laughs> Emphasis on simple. <laughs> not, not on Turg, on me. <laughs> you almost lost all the Turg stands out there. Oh god, Turg never yawn again. <laughs> it's so scary. Oh, that is one long yawn. <laughs> it's echoing through the ages. I wonder what a Turg yawn would sound like. I imagine it's like a foghorn. <laughs> Another peaceful day. Well, it's fine for you, Turk. Everyone else's faces got stolen, but for some reason they didn't want yours. <laughs> I wonder why. Oh god, no, I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Look at his little face. What the hell? Someone just face swapped with a butterfly. Oh my god! <laughs> They're using the standard anime YouTuber effect. <laughs> Finally, something that scares Turk. <laughs> Look at him run. Okay, he's not that fast though. <laughs> it looked faster in the last screen. The roles of townspeople will automatically fill by recommended me characters. No, I want- oh, 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 I can change them. <laughs> Fantastic, I was just about to say. I, I, I want to put them as my people. Are they just- Dancing like is this music playing for them or are they just there in the street silently like that? Can I add my villagers, please? Okay, I've got a party here a party of one <laughs> Sounds like a Turk party if I've ever heard of one. I guess maybe I can change them if they join my party. All right, let's just uh Wander into town. Oh, <laughs> the new guy's running into walls. <laughs> what is going on? I think Turk is trying to take flight. <laughs> Bit boring today. What's up with you? <laughs> I don't know what this voice is. <laughs> I just didn't want to do Joe Swanson. Monsters with people's faces. I mean, I think I'm a people with a monster's face. <laughs> All right, well, he didn't believe me. I would believe a man that looked like this. He's come from some other dimension to warn you of dangers. Cheery granny, Maria? She is not a granny. <laughs> She's younger than me. <laughs> you can't go around looking like that. <laughs> it didn't last long. <laughs> well, come on, you can't make fun of my face like that. I bet for every other player, she never says anything like that. <laughs> it was just me, just Turg. A smile brings happiness. Uh, well, feck you, all right? I'm always smiling, I'm Turg. Hey kid, would you like to come with me? <laughs> Lovey dovey couple and Baron. <laughs> okay, Dunbar, you were not old enough to be dating her. <laughs> you're cute, no, you're cute. You both make me sick. I feel like I'm dreaming. I feel like I'm having a nightmare. Oh, finally, someone who looks as ridiculous as I do. Oh my God, that is so scary. <laughs> I think they're looking at me, they realize they're in a game. Oh, they're gonna come out of the screen and the music's getting really scary. I don't like it. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. The other one's seen me now, too. This is so scary. Oh, no. He's seen me, too. He's ready to white knight for his woman. I don't even know who this Chad is. Can someone steal their faces, please? I don't want them looking at me like that. Dark Lord, a wicked presence who rules monsters from the shadows. That looks nothing like Jim. They've got the source material all wrong. Wait, choose a me to play the Dark Lord. Oh, oh yes. This is great news. <laughs> There we go, Jim. Is this me okay? It's not okay, but he's perfect for the job. <laughs> Look at his little face. Oh my god, he's like a disembodied Jim Pickens. <laughs> 
The Dark Lord Jim Pickens. Jesus Christ, that's so funny. I am the Dark Lord Jim Pickens. I've come to wreak havoc and terror on this miserable little world. All right, that's enough of that voice because that's going to start to hurt. Hey, Turk, time to taste true fear. No, that voice won't work either. How about we just don't voice him? Say goodbye to your faces. This is quite a unique plan Jim's come up with. I'm actually kind of thankful that he's removing their faces because they were a bit scary. Why is he doing this? That, that's a bit confusing. Like, why, why does he need their faces? <laughs> Listen up, you faceless freaks. Why are you calling us faceless freaks? You took our faces. And he's gone just like that. He didn't even say anything witty, like, uh, I don't, I don't know, um, uh, uh, Tur, you better not come after me and try to, uh, to challenge me to a face-off. How about something like that, huh? <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> I didn't talk to you before, but I'm, I'm choosing now to take my opportunity, now that you've no face. What's wrong, Dunbar? I thought you loved her. Surely it wasn't all about looks now, was it? It shouldn't matter that she doesn't have a face. She's freaking out because her son's lost his face, and Turk's like, yeah. <laughs> this music is demented, by the way. <laughs> it's really scary in this game. Oh, I got a lucky charm. Awesome. Oh, Oh, hey, you still don't believe me, do you? <laughs> How are you doing now, carefree guide Jeff? <laughs> He's so cruel. He took your eyes, but he left you with the bags that were under your eyes. <laughs> He's just wandering off into a field. Oh, for feck's sake, the Dark Lord just happens to be here <laughs> with all your music and everything. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I don't know why. <laughs> Give Barry's face back. You can keep the rest for some reason. I, I'm just after berries. <laughs> Maybe I'll give you this one back, but you'll have to earn it. How good are you in a fight? Or are you challenging me to a face-off? Say it. Say you're challenging me to a face-off. <laughs> what the hell? He put his face on that slime. I think he actually looks better now. I think we should leave it that way. This is going to be a battle for the ages. <laughs> Both of them are just as soft and squishy as each other. The family heirloom is glowing. Turk. Oh my god, God is inside the antique. Can you hear me? N no. <laughs> He's got me there. He's like, it does seem like you're hearing me since you answered me. It seems you're in a bit of trouble, my child. <laughs> Gift of divine power. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna write a Bible about Turk. He's gonna have a following. Jobs determine your role in battle. Some are tailored more towards fighting, while others are better suited to healing. He's gonna be a pop star. But why? Turk <laughs> <laughs> became a pop star. Take that, slime. I've got an entourage who are gonna protect me. God, this outfit's skin tight. This is just what you need to deal with the Dark Lord's fiends. Is it though? Is it? <laughs> He's so confused. The slime does not care, though. All right, how are we supposed to battle him? Maybe I can do such a high-pitched song that he'll just shatter. Attack, but with what? I guess I just hit him with some dope beats. Is that it? Oh, Turk, Turk, say something like, um, you, uh, you like, you like these beats? Because you're about to get beat. I should have wrote the dialogue for this game. <laughs> Okay, through the power of music, we won and got Barry's face back. Specifically Barry, only Barry. Everyone else's face is still with the Dark Lord. <laughs> Nailed it! You sure did, you were pitch perfect. Yeah, <laughs> like slime jelly. Turg does love jelly. He just fell on his ass now, though. Oh, okay, the guardian angel is talking to him. This is gonna be a weird origin story for our boy band. No, oh, come on, give it back to him. He's like, please. Please, I can't even breathe properly. <laughs> are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? She's not talking about the face thing. It's just that he's hanging around with this uh, bare-chested man <laughs> in a dark park by the looks of it. 200 gold. That's not bad for your first gig. Why does this guardian spirit keep kidnapping me? Defeat the vile Jim Pickens and save this world. Uh, no. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you've no say in the matter. <laughs> well, why even ask then? Now, Bob Starter, go for it. Defeat the Dark Lord. <laughs> uh, this this is so good. This is so just amazing. <laughs> hey kid, you've you've eyes now. Stop running into me, alright? <laughs> Getting out of this village, it's feckin' scary and the music doesn't make it any better. Wait, is that Mario up there? What's going on up here? Alright, all right, let's just ignore that. We're just gonna go into this new place. Easton Hills. This game is so bizarre. Who thought of it? They were just sitting around a table and was like, alright, what should the, like, the main plot be? And then they, someone immediately just piped up and went, Oh, there should be like a villain that's stealing people's faces and they get on butterflies and then you've gotta go through the villages and you gotta defeat the butterflies and then their faces go back onto the original villagers? Mm, yes, that's a great idea. Learned on after a friend's turn, cheer for an encore, giving them an extra turn. <laughs> 
Oh no, there's two butterflies this time, and they're just floating there menacingly. <laughs> don't worry, help is coming. But do but day but d. <laughs> what does that mean? Choose a me that you want to travel with. The me I have chosen is me, little Kev. What sort of personality would you say little Kev has? Airheaded. <laughs> I think he will be a chef. <laughs> Why does mine look like this? I'm little Kev, the airheaded chef. <laughs> That's great, buddy. That's great. He's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little Kev is getting tagged into this mess. Oh, hey, strange bare-chested man. Let me help you. Ow, stop it. <laughs> I'm just a small little Kev. Encore, little Kev. Hit him with a pan again. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna get their face back and they're gonna be like, oh, why is it so sore? I feel like someone hit me with a frying pan. <laughs> it's gonna be all flat and everything. Piece of cake, he says. See, this is the kind of wit we need. Little Kev joined the party. I like how even in my own story, I'm not the main character. <laughs> oh, look at them, though. <laughs> Turk randomly just saying, I want a cat. <laughs> He's not very good at small talk. Good job, Little Kev. They are making, like, no progress since Little Kev joined the party. His legs are so small. It takes him ages to walk. The hell is this thing? A goblin? He just looks kind of sad and lonely. Why are we attacking him? He looks shy. Hit him with your frying pan, little Kev. <laughs> yeah, get him. Oh, we found an inn. Great. Let's go in. It's time for the two of you to pick a room. What? When two characters share a room, the relationship will naturally grow. What happens if they share a bed? Oh, his little bed. It was so small. Hand out some money. Okay, they, they both want snacks. There you go. There's a banana. He's very happy with this banana. <laughs> Kev, you get nothing. What? Huh? You don't like jelly? I thought you loved jelly. Okay, and Kev cooked up and ate some of the goblin. <laughs> All right, let's just leave. They didn't like their meals. Oh, no, little Kev fell over. Look how sad he is. He's feckin' useless, isn't he? <laughs> now they're doing a little dance because Turk helped, helped him up. <laughs> Wait, what? First airheaded quirk. What? Attack mistake. What? What's happening? Wait, he's having sympathy on the goblin. He just let him go. That's Turk for you. And for the other one, he's like, Little Kev, encore, hit him with the pan in the face again. Little Kev never ceases to amaze. <laughs> What's he done that has amazed you? All he does is smack people with that pan. It's Jeff's face around here somewhere. Little Kev's probably like, who the hell is Jeff? What do you mean his face? Oh, I think we found Jeff's face. At least, I think it's him. I don't know. They're hard to... Okay, yeah, that's him. Butterfly Jeff. First kind quirk. Donate. <laughs> I... Oh, he's giving little Kev the little banana that he has. Right, I'm giving little Kev some sprinkles to put up his HP. <laughs> that was strange. Oh, God. My team are not doing so well. They are about to die. Oh, wait. No, he's dead. I, I didn't even... That wasn't close. I, I destroyed him. <laughs> Thanks for killing me. <laughs> that existence was horrible. They're on the edge of death. He's like, I could go a few more rounds. <laughs> All right, good. They found another little inn to rest their weary heads, even though they could totally go another round and everything. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Oh, they're acquainted. Okay, I, I thought that meant more, actually. <laughs> that they'd fallen in love or something. All right, well, I'm gonna let them enjoy their little sleepy rest. And uh, we're gonna end it there. But I hope you guys enjoyed. That was wild from start to finish. I hope you guys liked it, because I'm totally up to play more of this. It is a, it is an experience. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I will thank you very much for watching. If you want to watch more of my stuff, I post every day, as well as stream over on Twitch. If you want to check that out, there's a link in the description. But uh, yeah, other than that, I'll just say thanks for watching. Appreciate you, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.